Hello everyone, in today's video, I'll show how to install Google Tag Manager on your WordPress website. Let's begin by understanding what is Google Tag Manager and why we need it. Google Tag Manager, also known as a GTM, is a free tool provided by Google that allows to install and manage various tracking code and tags on your website. Basically, it is a platform that centralizes all your tracking code in one place. So, why do we need a centralized platform? You know, for the website, we have to install many code snippets such as a Google Analytics, AdSense, and various conversion tracking code to our website backend. But installing too many tracking codes directly on your website can potentially slow down its performance and speed because each tracking code adds additional script and requests that need to be loaded which can increase the page load time and negatively impact to the user experience google tag manager addresses this issue by acting as a single container for all your tracking code instead of directly placing multiple codes on your website you only need to install gtm container code which is a small and optimized piece of javascript this container code load asynchronously, meaning it won't block other elements of your website from loading. You know, website loading time is one of the key factors for on-page SEO. Apart from that, there are many other benefits of using GTM. Alright, I hope you got some idea and now we are going to install Google Tag Manager for one of my dummy website. First, we need a Google Tag Manager account. It is really easy. Just log into your Gmail account, then search Google Tag Manager in Google Search. Click tagmanager.google.com and you will automatically sign in for the GTM account through your Gmail account. No login password is required. Once you logged in, click the Create Account button. There are two sections to fill, Account and Container. For the account name, you can enter your business name, company name, or website name. If you manage multiple websites, you can have one account and use several containers to manage them separately. Containers are like one website or one project. You can manage multiple tracking codes in one container. So basically, you can create one account and have separate containers for each website you manage. Next, select your country and you can leave this checkbox unticked. For the container name, I prefer to put the website name, then I will easily find this project later. Choose web as the target platform and click create. Then you will need to agree with the TOS. After that, you will land on the GTM dashboard. On the GTM dashboard, you will see this pop-up window with the GTM code that need to be placed inside your website's header and body section. If you don't see it, click your GTM ID to view the code again. Alright, we have the GTM code and now we are going to place it on our WordPress website. Actually, there are a couple of ways to place this code into your WordPress header and body section. But I'll show you an easy method using WordPress plugin. Okay, go back to the WordPress dashboard and click on plugins in a sidebar menu. Under that, select add new. And search for the VP code plugin. This plugin allows us to place any code without directly accessing to the backend of your website. I prefer this plugin because it is easy to use and it has a 5 star rating with over 2 million active users. Ok, click install now and then activate. Once activate, go back to the WordPress dashboard and find code snippet in the sidebar menu. Under that, click on header and footer. Here you will find the header and body section where we will paste the GTM code. Now just go back to the GTM dashboard, 
First, we are going to copy the header code. Click copy icon, paste it under the header section here. Okay, let's copy the body tag and paste it under the plugin body section. Click save changes. Now we have finished the code installation part. Let's check if the code worked correctly. Click the preview button on your GTM dashboard. Enter your website URL and click connect. This will open your website in new tab and if the code is work, working properly, you will see tag assistant connected. Now we know our code is code work fine. Click finish and close both windows. Also it is better if you can install tag assistant chrome extension to your browser. The advantage is you can real time monitor all the tracking codes running in the back end of your website. If there are any error in the code installation, it will show in the extension path. So let's install Tag Assistant. Search for Google Tag Assistant Chrome extension. Select Tag Assistant Legacy by Google. And click Add to Chrome. Pin the extension to the toolbar for easy access. After installation, click the extension and click done. And then press the three dot to access settings. Enable auto validation. And finally, click allow. Refresh your website, then click the extension to view the GTM code. If there are any issues, the icon will turn yellow or red, indicating a problem with the code. The icon is green, it means our code work fine. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you find it helpful and remember to subscribe our channel for more informative videos. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.